Now, back in the 15th century, this French girl started hearing the voices of saints and decided she needed to go lead French forces in driving out the English. Then she got barbecued. And now I have a game about it. Here's Joan of Arc, but it's spelled in French. Welcome to an epic saga about love, a story of one girl's quest to unite her country under God. It's Joan d'Arc. This warrior of Jesus has got more God in her than Ann Coulter in a Pat Robertson wine tasting. Oh, except in this version. This is the pagan version of the story. You know, the one where the English king is counseled by a demon who has Joan fighting colored wolves. We open to find Joan's village being sacked by mystical beasts. Things don't go well for the local wooden structures, so Joan decides to fight for France. That's when a sort of spiritual awakening will begin occurring within your hands. No, the PSP does get warm and emit a tone when Joan passes fire, but it does have a few other features worth looking at. Joan d'Arc's graphics, for one, are nicely present. Battles and journeys are backgrounded by active trees and water. The colors are lush and vibrant. Another element that may cause you to clasp pants and speak in tongues is intuitive menu screens. Commanding Joan's cohorts is fast and efficient. You can also outfit predefined members of your group with skill stones. Psst, don't tell God about the stones. These give you a variety of spells and attack modes. Another nice thing for the title is hit bonuses for flanking or surprising your opponent from the rear. Defensive bonuses are also granted for linked characters. Joan and the select few also have the ability to store up soul power, which sounds like a second coming in the 70s, but it's really a mighty blast furnace of mystic energy. Since Joan's French, it wouldn't be right to overlook this gastric gall in his new level of faux French dialogue. Is this really what the Japanese think French people are like? Sadly, Joan fails to reunite multiplayer with the game, and the action is a bit familiar, but with roughly 20 to 30 hours of gameplay for fans of the genre. You shouldn't so quickly send this one to the stake. A four. Out of five. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.